Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show another example using Enhance um, where we are dealing with uh, a prediction question and also at the same time we are trying to address some of the survey feature variables in our analysis. So let us consider this particular example where we are trying to predict cholesterol and we have a list of variables that we consider to be predictors, such as gender, whether um, they were born in US, race, education, whether they are married or not, income level, BMI, whether they have uh, diabetic or not. And there are a couple of survey feature variables that we are also interested in incorporating when we are doing this analysis, such as the survey weights, strata, and the cluster or PSU variables. And in this analysis, we are going to restrict the participant to 18 years or older because we are interested in uh, predicting cholesterol in adults. All right, so we have a pre-made data set. We can take a look at this data and what are the components that we have in this data. Uh, in this um, data file, we have a analytic data that has about more than 1200 observations and these are the variables that are included in this data we can try to select only the outcome variable and the predictor variables of interest and the survey feature variables because rest of these other variables like triglyceride and stuff like that we do not need them in this particular analysis so we are not really interested in them so we ended up with 13 variables, whereas originally we had 33 variables. So we are just going to work with the variables that we need. And then we can check whether we have all of the names of the variables that we are interested in, and we can check the data summary of um, the, with, uh, the US born and the age and stuff like that. We can take a look at this data and there is no missing data in this particular data the way it was made. Um, if you are more interested about what happens if we have missing data, we have a um, video that is coming up next that will be talking about the missing data scenario. So we try to um, assign which of these variables are factor variables and which of these vector uh, variables are continuous variables separately because when we are using the create table one function we need to know which of the variables are factors and which of the variables are continuous to see that tables appropriately that's why we are using this apply function to um, assign which of these variables are factor and which of these variables are character variables so that we do not have any other mix-ups uh, so after doing that, when we use the create table one function, we can get a table one, basically, uh, which shows um, each of these variables and the outcome variable, the uh, numbers here uh, as a contingency table. All right, as a first problem, what we try to do is we are trying to use linear regression to predict uh, the cholesterol based on the predictors of interest. Here we see that we are doing this, this prediction model, but we are not really utilizing the survey feature variables, right? Um, so one of the consequences of that would be all of these confidence intervals that you are seeing are not going to be the correct confidence interval. All right, and, and you can check the variance inflation uh, factors as well in, from this particular feed. We're more interested about a binary outcome, uh, and, and that is one of the reasons why we are uh, categorizing this binary outcome. Um, in this particular exercise, we can try to see what is the association between this cholesterol and gender, uh, but again, we are using a regular chi-square test, so we are again not incorporating the survey features that we should include. All right, so now that we know that we want to include the survey feature variables, we can definitely use the survey design function from the survey package where we specify the cluster, we specify the weights, we specify the strata, and in Enhance, our data, um, the strata and cluster are nested. So we have to say that the nesting is equal to true, and we specify which data set 
we are using to create this design. And we can then check uh, the weights that we originally had and the weights that we get from this design are exactly the same. All right, now that we have a survey design object created, we are basically going to use the design object and we can use the survey chi-square using either the rouse scott adjustment uh, for which we just have to say uh, statistic equal to chi-square or we can do the Ra thomas rao modification uh, in which case we have to specify the chi-square equal to f test and both of these are giving us some understanding of whether gender variable is um, associated with the cholesterol or not so Based on our uh, test here, we can see that gender variable is um, associated with the outcome. All right, so now that we have set up the design, let us just cre recreate our table one again, but this time we want to use the design uh, where we have included the uh, weight survey, uh, weight strata and cluster information. And after including them, we can try to also stratify based on the binary cholesterol level and then we can uh, figure out whether each of these variables are associated with the outcome or not all right so because we have categorized the cholesterol variable then we can use the logistic regression using the uh, binomial family and logit link uh, but instead of data we are using the design that we have created and that will give us a odds ratio of all of these um, predictors of interest as well as the confidence intervals that are correct because we are using the design instead of data. And in the design, we have already specified strata, cluster, and weight information, right? And we can also try to do war test. Um, so for example, in this test, we are, um, testing whether the variables associated with the income variable um, are all zero or not. And, and this uh, work test is giving us the p-value of um, 0 0.94. So that means that even if we remove the income variable from our model, it, it doesn't improve our model fit uh, or it doesn't really impact our model that much anyway. Uh, we can try to do backward elimination. Uh, and instead of doing a full-blown backward elimination, we can try to do a backward elimination where we want to retain some variables that we already know from the literature are important variables in our analysis. Then we can add a few other variables like education and married and stuff like that in our analysis to try to see whether they have any value when they're added in the backward elimination process. And then we can try to uh, get a final model based on the uh, backward elimination. We can also try to check interaction term if we have some indication from the literature that there are some variables that are uh, interacting with each other to produce or impact the outcome cholesterol. Uh, based on that, we can try to use this interaction term uh, within the update function, and we can try to see whether uh, the p-values are small or not. So in all of these cases, we see the p-values are not small. Uh, so probably including them are not useful in our analysis. Right. We can try to also check the AUC. And based on our AUC, we can see the AUC for the model that we have that we got out of the uh, uh, backward elimination with some important covariance in the model. Uh, it is 0 0.611. Um, so it has poor discrimination. Uh, we can also try to see actual show goodness of fit test and the p-value is very high. That means that there is no lack of fit problem uh, in our model. At least there is no evidence of lack of fit. 
Uh, in the last scenario, what we are doing is that we are trying to add a new variable age in our model, and we are trying to see whether adding this age variable is improving our model or not. And we can just use this age variable in our uh, model formula and fit the model. And basically what we can do is we can check the AIC of these two fits and whichever model has the lowest AIC is supposed to be the better model. So that's basically the summary of the enhanced analysis in this particular lab.